All right, men, remember that epic confidence boost we started last video? Yeah, we weren't messing around. But conquering self-doubt takes some serious firepower. That's why we're back today to finish the job. We'll be crushing the remaining confidence-draining habits, leaving you feeling like a silver fox with the swagger of a lion. So grab a pen and that trusty notepad and get ready to unlock your full potential as the confident man you are. Let's do this. We'll be exploring the typical reasons why we men tend to overlook our health, the repercussions of this neglect, and the significance of being proactive in preserving our health. As men age, it becomes quite commonplace for their health to fall down the pecking order. Overwhelming workloads, grueling commutes, and endless home responsibilities can leave men barely having the time or vigor for a gym workout or an early morning jog. Let's be realistic. The solace of our sofa often triumphs over an exhaustive exercise routine. But when men begin to ignore their health, they are unknowingly setting the stage for a plethora of health issues in the future. Our bodies don't recover as swiftly as they used to. Wounds take more time to heal, and illnesses hit us harder. The risk of succumbing to health ailments such as heart disease, diabetes, and arthritis escalates. And suddenly, our so-called comfort zone starts losing its comfort. So, how do we confront this issue? The solution is straightforward yet necessitates dedication and commitment. We must be proactive about our health. Being proactive translates into taking charge of our health instead of idling for problems to surface. It implies scheduling routine health checkups, consuming a balanced diet, and carving out time for physical exercise. It's about recognizing that our health is an investment and not merely an expense. Taking care of our physical health goes beyond just keeping diseases at bay. It's about feeling invigorated, having vitality, and living life to its fullest. It's about being capable of playing with our children or grandchildren, traveling, and engaging in activities we adore. Confidence is frequently linked to our physical appearance, but it penetrates much deeper. When we are healthy, we feel better about ourselves. We become more productive, more spirited, and indeed, more self-assured. So let's make a pledge today. Let's elevate our health on our priority list. Let's exchange that snooze button for an early morning jog, that fast food for a home-cooked meal. Let's assume control of our health and thereby take control of our lives. Let it be known, the initial step towards regaining confidence is prioritizing your health. Have you ever been told that being vulnerable is a sign of weakness? A common misconception, especially among us men, is that vulnerability is a sign of weakness. A notion that has erected walls around us, shielding us from the imagined dangers of rejection, judgment, or disappointment. But let's debunk this myth right now. Vulnerability, contrary to this belief, is not a sign of weakness. It is, in fact, a strength. Yes, you heard it right, a strength. You might be wondering why. Well, vulnerability presents us with an opportunity to connect genuinely with others. When we allow ourselves to be vulnerable, we expose our authentic selves, our flaws, and our weaknesses. This raw honesty breeds deeper, more meaningful relationships. People start seeing us as humans they can relate to, trust, and understand. But the benefits of embracing vulnerability don't stop there. It also lays the foundation for personal growth. It takes immense courage to face our fears, to confront our insecurities, to open up about our feelings. But when we do, it paves the way for us to learn and evolve. It gives us a chance to work on our shortcomings, to improve and become better versions of ourselves. So consider this, when you're keeping your walls up, you're not just preventing yourself from forming real connections with others, but you're also stunting your own personal growth. You're denying yourself the chance to learn, to evolve, and to become a better you. Vulnerability is not about being weak or fragile, it's about being brave enough to show your true self, despite the fear of judgment or rejection. It's about having the strength to face your fears, to confront your insecurities, and to allow yourself to grow from these experiences. So the next time you feel vulnerable, embrace it. Don't shy away from it. Don't see it as a sign of weakness. Remember, it's not weakness, it's strength. Embracing vulnerability is a step towards a more authentic, fulfilled, and confident you. Mima Champs halfway there, feeling like a new man already? These habits can be tough to break. Hit pause and comment below. What's your biggest confidence challenge? Share your struggles and together the Mima fam can help you conquer them. Let's crush these remaining confidence killers. Have you ever felt overwhelmed by the number of possessions you own? It's a common sensation, and it's not just about the physical space these items take up. 
The true weight of possessions often lies in the mental and emotional clutter they create. Imagine your living space filled with objects. Some of these items are useful or hold sentimental value, but many are just there, gathering dust. They're not just occupying your house, they're occupying your mind. Every item we own requires a slice of our mental energy, whether it's for maintenance, storage, or simply remembering it exists. This is the mental clutter that comes with hoarding possessions. It's like trying to navigate through a room filled with furniture. The more there is, the harder it gets. But it doesn't stop there. We humans have a knack for forming emotional attachments to our possessions. Each item may hold a memory, represent an experience, or be tied to a part of our identity. These emotional bonds can make the thought of decluttering feel like losing a piece of ourselves, leading to anxiety and reluctance. However, let's pause and ponder for a moment. Are these possessions truly enriching our lives? Or are they just adding to our mental load, creating stress and overwhelming us? Are we holding on to them because they're essential? Or is it just our fear of letting go? In truth, decluttering doesn't mean erasing memories or experiences. It doesn't mean losing parts of ourselves. It's about making space, physical and mental, for new experiences, for growth and for peace. It's about letting go of the unnecessary and keeping what truly matters. Think about it. How would it feel to walk into a room filled only with items that serve a purpose or spark joy? How much lighter would your mind feel without the mental load of unnecessary possessions? Decluttering your life from unnecessary possessions can be a liberating experience. It's a journey towards a simpler, more mindful lifestyle. It's a step towards freeing yourself from the burden of possessions opening up space for clarity, calmness, and yes, confidence. So, what does it all mean for our journey to self-confidence? Well, it's a journey of evolution, a process of shedding old habits and embracing new mindsets. Remember how we talked about the importance of physical health? That's your fuel, your vitality. Don't hit snooze on it, make it a priority. And vulnerability? It's not a weakness, but a strength. It's about tearing down walls and building bridges of genuine connection and growth. Embrace it. Then, we touched on the burden of possessions. They can clutter our space and our minds. Learn to let go. Release the weight. Each of these elements, physical health, vulnerability, and decluttering, play a crucial role in our journey to self-confidence as men. By consciously shedding these habits, we pave the way to higher self-esteem and a more fulfilling life. It's not about becoming someone else, it's about becoming the best version of yourself. So start your journey to self-confidence today. Bam, there you have it, Mima champs, confidence conquered. Remember, a confident man is a powerful man. Ready to rock your newfound confidence? Here's what to do. Smash that like button if you learned a valuable tip for boosting your confidence. Subscribe to the channel to become a certified Mima confidence king. Leave a comment below telling us which habit surprised you the most or share your own strategy for staying confident. Let's ditch the self-doubt and own your confidence. See you next time.